Are you ready to be a success or a statistic? Hello, I'm Larry Kimbrough. I wanted to talk to you about that subject for a couple of minutes. You know, the good news is everybody listening to me right now has all it takes to be a success, whether it's to run your own business or to move up in the company you work for. I have found many, many people that have had opportunities to move, you know, be a mover and a shaker, and they just didn't do it. And it was most of the time it had to do with three or four key things. One, fear. Fear of failing. You were so afraid of failing, you didn't give yourself a chance to succeed. The other thing is, people don't feel they deserve it. Oh, I could never do that. I, you know, I'm just a run-of-the-mill guy. I, could, I couldn't uh, uh, run a company of my own, or I couldn't, you know, be a manager. And, I, the, and perseverance. Everybody has to have a little bit of drive about them. Case in point, uh, I know a guy, I've been knowing him for many years. He uh, actually had been in prison for murder, and uh, had a life sentence, uh, but they decided to grant him parole after about 20 years. And uh, since he's been out, he has finished his uh, education, gotten a uh, uh, college degree, written two books, uh, now heads up the, uh, an organization here in Alabama, and uh, has got a salary of about 100000 a year. Uh, and some good benefits, so he's doing very well. He took advantage of that, but one of the times when I was talking to him, he told me, he said, you know, I feel like a fake a lot of times. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm being the person that people think I am. And I said, no, no, no. You are the person you really are. The person you was before when you were locked up, that's the person that was the fake. That's the person you were uh, uh, tr trying to live up to your people around you and the environment you were in. You know, the success you've had, the books you've written, the jobs you've done, uh, uh, those are you. That, it, nobody can take credit for that. That's you. And, and you have to take that same uh, viewpoint. You have opportunity. I mean, we're in the country of opportunity, right? You have to have perseverance, you have to uh, uh, know that you deserve it, and you have to not be afraid to fail. Every single person I know, and I know a lot of people in business uh, over the years that I've met uh, that are very successful, every single one of them will tell you that not only have they failed, most of them have failed more than once, but they never looked at it as a failure. <laughs> they looked at it as an opportunity to learn. They looked at it like it was a training exercise, not a failure. A lot of people uh, have something go wrong and they beat themselves up about it. When really, you ought to look at it as just an experience and show you, okay, it won't work this way. I've got to do something different. You know, I've got to adapt and, uh, and you can do that. And uh, there's other keys to this. And I sure hope I get an opportunity to speak with your group sometime so I can customize a good program for you and teach you some things and have some fun at the same time. But in the meantime, keep this in, in your mind at all times. You deserve whatever you can get. And you know, Confucius said, a person who thinks they can and a person who thinks they can't are both right. So don't think you can't do something because guess what? You won't. Think that you can do it and take steps to prepare and be that person that you want to be. Be that success. You have it in you. You have the ability. You just got to trust and believe in yourself and, and keep pushing. Keep pushing. Don't give up. Thank you so much. I hope to talk to you again soon.